All right, another mail day. Got lots of packages. Um, four from eBay and one from an online purchase. We'll do the online purchase last. Um, yeah. So, if I'm correct, this is one of the oldest purchases I have had on eBay. I can't figure out what it is. The way they put the packages on. I'm hoping it's what I, what I think it is anyway. Um, if it is what I think it is, it's been since May that I ordered this. And if I do, I know what most of the others are. And if it is correct what it is, I only have one other package that's from May 9th on eBay. Hopefully it comes through. Oh, oh, look at that. There we go. No, this is actually something that I ordered. So I still have two eBay purchases outstanding. This one here is a recent purchase and it's for my DCC box. So what it is, it's, I got two of them just in case, but it's a plug like for a computer, three prong, prong plug for a computer but it also has a switch so I can use this as main power source and it also comes with fuses so it's a fused power source so yeah I'll uh, I'll install this on my DCC box because I'm making my DCC uh, system portable and I'll wire this up I believe this is a 15 amp system so I'll wire this up so all of my power comes from this and it's fused so it'll uh, if I happen to pull more than 15 amps then uh, then it'll blow the fuse and uh, I'll have a main power uh, switch as well so I can kill the power right at the source essentially so I get two of them these were pretty neat and reasonably inexpensive they were just a few dollars which is cool but disappointing that it's not basically what I ordered which is from eBay from back in early May I ordered um, some wire cutters which were like four bucks and it's very disappointing they haven't come and I ordered some uh, Arduino type uh, buttons, a uh, pack of, I don't know, 10 or 20. Um, and that's disappointing as well. Now this here, um, I do believe is my, what does it say? I thought it said something somewhere. What it was. Oh yes, hand drill. So this is now, this is the third time I've ordered something like this. The second time I think it ended up getting um, cancelled and returned by the seller. I don't know why. Maybe they didn't have the stock or whatnot. And the first time I ordered, I'd never received it. So it was just like waste of money. But... I guess third time's a charm. I paid a little bit more for this, but it came with some neat little things. So it came with the package for the drill bits, which I thought was pretty cool. And it looks like it actually has them in order of size, which I think is kind of neat. 
Anyway, it's a neat little box, but that's what I originally ordered. Oh yes, and I do believe it has the sizes here, so I can now coordinate what drill bit is what uh, diameter. So with this little package comes this little hand drill, which is not entirely what I was hoping it was going to be, but it's close. It's not as pretty. But what you do is you just push it up and down and it drills, which is kind of neat. I can give it a shot anyway. It comes with another collet. So, what the heck, for a few bucks, give it a shot. So I'm glad that came in. That was one that I was worried that I wasn't going to get again. Uh, another package. Uh, lantern head banana plug. Interesting. I believe that goes with what I bought in the last mail bag. I do believe I got two. Yes. And they're black. I'll have to get red ones just to kind of mix things up. But I want to give these a shot. I'm not um, I'm not as familiar. I've never really used these, but they look pretty simple to uh, to use and wire up. They look like they're good for pretty heavy gauge wire. I'm, I don't intend to use pretty heavy gauge wire, but anyway, it looks like I got 20 pieces. So the last eBay purchase. Now I have a funny suspicion I was I'm going to be quite disappointed in this. Uh, Steel Ball One, and I'm pretty sure I got gypped on this because I was intending it to be the holder as well, and I'm pretty sure yes. I just I paid a few dollars for something I can get at the dollar store. What a fucking, or flipping rip. I wanted to use this for my soldering tip, but I wanted it to come in a holder as well. Oh, what a rip. They're not getting a good rating from me. Not at all. So, last parcel. This is, uh, I believe either an eBay or a Kijiji purchase or a Facebook purchase. I can't remember now. Pretty sure it was eBay. Or, silly. Kijiji. I've been waiting a few days to open this. Packaged very well. Which is great. Nothing in the box. So, the main reason I bought these was for this car. Um, nice to put together. I know these are finicky. These are, it's a Proto. Proto 2000, 50 foot auto box car. Canadian National Railway. Um, yeah, I got a couple of these now. And I'm looking forward to, to building the kit. For sure. And this one here. Now the funny thing is, there was a fella that had two of these for twenty dollars each out in I think British Columbia. Twenty dollars? Yeah, twenty dollars. And he wanted twenty five dollars shipping, so for two cars it was gonna be fifty five dollars. Got this from Ontario, it was twenty dollars shipping, but he only wanted ten dollars each, I believe. So it was like $40 for this. But I didn't get the second car I wanted. But I'm pleased with it because uh, 
I do have some older Canadian Pacific rolling stock and locomotives and such. So, it's a nice little gondola. I think I'll be pleased with that. And it's another kit to build, which I'm actually quite excited to start doing more of. I haven't really put a kit together in 10 or 15 years. Some old Atherm blue boxes is all I've really done. So to do some of the more higher quality ones, like these proto kits, I'm really looking forward to. I have a few. Unbeknownst to me, I uh, I purchased two, I think they were old Wabash auto racks, and I will end up selling them because I want mainly Canadian National or Canadian Pacific, um, which is what I model. So, Anyway, that was a pretty quick uh, unboxing, and one disappointed purchase. I can't believe I paid like two, two something for that. Um, might even be more. Very disappointed, but anyway, live and learn. I should have known better. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate it, and uh, yeah, see you on the next video.